So, let us take third question of section 1. The area of the region given as x y less than equal to 8 y is between 1 and x square is. So, let us first plan the figure for these curves. If we talk about x y equals 8 it is the hyperbola, y equals 1 is a straight line, y equals x square is the parabola. So, let us draw these three curves first we can see the drawing would be like this. So, we have x axis y axis hyperbola x y equals 8 line y equals 1 and the parabola x square equals y. The question says the reason by these three curves. It is not mentioned anywhere it is the bounded one. So, we can also plan that the portion lying over here unbounded area is also correct. But if the question is talking about bounded region then yes the bounded one we can clearly say is this one correct. Otherwise, if we talk about x y less than equal to 8 obviously, this portion is there right y greater than equal to 1 obviously, the portion above the line is here and when you talk about this x square greater than y. So, obviously, exterior of this parabola is there. So, one portion as I shaded and the other one would be on this side the second quadrant, but let us go for the bounded one as the option is matching with the bounded. So, let us talk about the curves first given to me hyperbola and the parabola and the line. If we talk about the intersections we can see that these two are intersecting at 1 1 this parabola and hyperbola intersecting at 2 comma 4 by solving the 2 and when you put y equals 1 in this hyperbola you can see x is 8. So, the required area we can say is equal to integral 1 to 2 for parabola that is y equals x square dx plus 2 to 8 for this hyperbola that is y equals 8 by x dx correct. Now, when you talk about these two you have taken this entire one. Now, what else you need you also require to find this point so that you can subtract the rectangular portion right. So, let us subtract the rectangular portion here minus this is 7 multiplied with 1 so minus 7 right. Now, integrating we can say this is x cube by 3 1 to 2 plus 8 log x 2 to 8 minus 7. I am sure this area is clear let us simplify this area. So, here we are getting 1 by 3 times 8 minus 1 that is 7 plus 8 log 8 minus log 2 log 8 minus log 2 minus 7. Moving ahead we can write it as 7 by 3 minus 7 this point is clear. So, we have 7 minus 21 that is minus 14 by 3 plus log 8 can be written as 3 log 2 minus log 2. So, it is 2 log 2 multiplied with 8 it is 16 log 2 right. So, let us see from the given options the correct answer 16 log 2 minus 14 by 3 is available here as option number D. So, let us mark it as our correct answer. So, I am sure this question is also clear let us move on to the next one that is question number 4. A line y equals mx plus 1 intersects the circle given one at two points p and q. If the midpoint of the line segment pq has x coordinate as minus 3 by 5 then which one of the following options is correct. Let us plan this question. Here it is given that the circle is here let us draw a circle like this correct. Next it is given that a line pq is intersecting it at two points say p and q like this correct. Now, y equals m x plus 1 is the equation of it. Now, it is mentioned that midpoints abscissa is minus 3 by 5. So, can we write here the midpoint as minus 3 by 5 comma k. What is k? k is lying here on this line. So, it can be written as minus 3 by 5 m plus 1. So, minus 3 by 5 m plus 1. So, this is the coordinate for midpoint let us consider it as r right. Center of the circle is known to us here is the center and its coordinate it is 3 comma minus 2. Now, what next we need here? 
we simply need to find the slope of this line and this line. Just multiply that 2 and say this is equal to minus 1, you will get the value of m. So, let us start this question. Slope of p q multiplied with slope of say this is m r m is equal to minus 1. Now, slope of p q this line its slope is m this means m multiplied with slope of r m we can write minus 3 by 5 m plus 1 plus 2. So, it is minus 3 by 5 m plus 3 divided by denominator minus 3 by 5 minus 3. So, we can write here minus 18 by 5 this product equals minus 1. So, I am sure this part is clear how we are solving it right. Now, further simplifying we can see here it implies that taking LCM as 5 we have m multiplied with minus m plus 5 what I have done I have taken 3 common and I am cancelling it with the denominators part divided by 6 is equal to 1 right. Just simplify as the quadratic equation in m we can write m square minus 5 m plus 6 equals 0 or m is equal to 2 and 3. So, we obtain two values for m. Let us check from the given options do we have this one as my option. It says m is lying between 2 to 4 including 2, m is lying between 4 to 6 including 4 and so on. Yes, my option is available here as option number A. So, let us mark and mention as my answer. So, I am sure this point is clear. So, this was fourth question of section 1. Let us move on to the next one.